Hi everybody, this is going to be just a little bit of information on increasing student engagement and doing that by including your students' interests in your instruction. So before we can really get into how student interests may affect engagement and hopefully increase it, first we really need to know what is engagement. This can be a little bit tricky because engagement doesn't have one single definition and it's really something that teachers need to watch for. So teachers need to watch students and the behaviors that they're showing in order to decide if students are engaged or not. So some things that you might be looking for are participation, if students are concentrated, whether that be on an activity or just concentrated on you and your teaching, and then the last one that I listed here is students' enthusiasm. So is it that they're participating and they're concentrated because they want to get the task done and they want a good grade? Or are they genuinely interested in what you're doing? Are they excited about it? And they're participating because they want to. That's a big piece of engagement is not just doing it to get it done, but doing it with excitement, enthusiasm, and enjoyment. And then last I put on here that really you as the teacher need to know your students in order to know what these behaviors look like for your students. Everyone is different and so depending on the students that you have, their engaged behaviors might look different than in other classrooms. So now that we talked a little bit about what engagement is, how to spot it, I wanted to mention why engagement is important. Um, as educators, I feel like everyone always thinks, you know, that they would love to have their students be engaged in their lessons. You want your students to enjoy what you're doing, but what actual effects does that engagement have? So there have been studies that have found that tracking time on and off task behavior, when students are on task or engaged, they do have higher levels of academic achievement. So it is really important that we keep students engaged, not just because, you know, we hope that they like what we're doing, but it really does affect their education. So with that, on the last slide, we talked a little bit about how to spot engagement. On this slide, I wanted to talk a little bit about finding those behaviors that show that a student is not engaged. But I wanted to mention that every person listens differently and so it's really important to know your students and know how they listen best. So examples that I had for non-engaged behavior would be if students are playing with materials in a way that they are not meant to be used, um, looking around the room or laying with their head down, if they are doodling or if they are talking to others about topics that are not related at all to what you're teaching. Now, the reason I mentioned it's important to know how your students listen is because some students need to keep their hands busy and maybe they need to doodle in order to listen. So you would need to know that so that you know that that student may still be engaged even though they may not look at. And that's the same with looking around the room or putting their head down. Everyone listens differently, and so these are just guidelines, but really you have to know your students to know how they listen best and how to identify when they are listening and when they are engaged and the behaviors that show you that they are not engaged. Okay, now that we've talked about what engagement is and why it's important, now I want to bring in this idea of using your students' interests to increase their engagement. So there was a really interesting study that was done that was about trying to increase the amount of homework that was being completed and brought back to school. And so they were trying to find something that would be easy enough for teachers to do that it was realistic to do it, but also motivated these students to get their homework brought back. So what they did is they assigned a homework assignment and they said, if you do this assignment and you bring it back, then the next assignment we give, you're going to kind of be featured almost in the assignment. So basically in some of these problems, the teachers would simply include students' names and it almost kind of gave students a shout out and the students thought it was really cool 
to do the homework assignment and see their name in it. But they had to bring the first assignment back before they would get their name in the next one. And so what they found is that it really did work. They found um, that students were bringing it back completed. And not only this, but once it was done one time, they were so excited to see their name in the next one that it would spill over into the next one. And they also found that it helped out in class as well. Students were participating more in class and there were less problems. So not only did it help with homework, but it also helped in the classroom as well. So it really showed that something even as simple as including students' names, um, obviously that's something that's very important to students, and it really did help with motivation and engagement and the completion of the homework. So of course that study is just one example, and really it's just showing that getting your students interested in something really does make a difference. So with that, now I want to give an idea of like, where do you go now? So if you want to try including your students' interests, the most important thing is that you know what they are. So I gave an example of an interest inventory. This is from the McAndrews text, but there are plenty out there that have different questions for students to answer. And it's really just to get to know them and get to know what they like, what they dislike, what they're interested in. So this one has lots of questions from um, students' home lives to what they like at school, maybe extracurriculars, any kind of questions that you can ask to get to know your students and what they enjoy, you can take that information and put it into your, your instruction in any way that you're able to. And if any of that sounded really interesting to you and you want to look at them more, these are all of the studies that I looked at as well as the McAndrews text with that inventory on it. Um, but really just get to know your students and you will be able to include their interests and get their engagement up. Um, if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer, but thanks for listening.